Well, it's a big God bless you from me, Rory Alec. I'm back. Back. Wherever this might be, I'm here with you every Tuesday and Thursday. It's the 28th of February at the time of filming this, and it is literally the beginnings of my podcast every Tuesday, every Thursday. Spirit, soul, body. Rory Alec will be hanging out with whoever wants to hang out with me, and hopefully we can encourage one another. I've been off the air for the last year and a half, um, although we live in the digital age and social media, so one, I guess one could say I've been off social media for at least a year and a half. So to many of you, my friends, my family, to those guys and girls who've been tracking with me, some of you for many, many years, indeed, even the very beginnings of my previous life, and no, I don't mean uh, a life before the life in terms of reincarnation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in terms of my previous season when I was the chairman and chief executive, co-founder of a Christian television network, God TV, which still goes today. Um, so many of you know me from those days, and um, it's good to be with you. It's nice to be with you on this Tuesday. We're going to figure this out uh, together. Spirit, soul, body podcast is where we're going to concentrate literally on you and me being spirit beings living in a body and having a soul, our imagination, our emotions, our intellect, our decision-making process, the home of the free will and all the challenges that come from the decisions that you and I make. So yeah, Rory Alec, where have you been for the last one and a half years? And that's a great question. So we're going to be picking up on that today. But firstly, how are you? And where are you watching from? And are we going to do this every week? And uh, I'd love to have you join me on this journey and see where it goes to, where we do learn more about our bodies. I've gone through a massive learning curve in the last three, four months. And I hope to unpack a little bit more of that on today's podcast, where I talk about my journey and um, which uh, had a pretty rocky start at the end of last year and um, <laughs> is much better today, 28th of February. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I made some key decisions, and I wouldn't say these are new decisions for me. These are decisions that I've made um, in the past, but without the knowledge that indeed when I made these decisions this year, 2023, that... Um, it's been a whole renewing of my mind, and that's a critical thing. You know, many times we hear the statement, uh, knowledge is power. Well, actually, that's not technically correct. It's knowledge that we apply. Well, that's where the power lies. So, yeah, let me know where you're watching from, uh, whether this is live, re-live. Uh, in the weeks ahead, we will go live live and indeed i plan to have guests who will be joining me right here on this podcast and we'll be talking about things spirit we'll be talking about things soul and of course body and i'm going to kick off today by giving you guys and girls a quick um update from my perspective because hey rory we haven't seen you on our social media screens for at least a year and a half you've been as quiet as a church mouse that's a good one to pick. But anyway, yeah, I've been super quiet, super quiet. Um, in terms of my passion and my love, his name is Jesus. And um, I walk with him some days extremely willingly and totally devoted. And there are other days where there are parts of me that are in full on rebellion. It's like I feel like I'm this little kid who just does not want to do what he's gently prompting me to do and to focus on. Uh, which can only be for my benefit, but I'm just kicking and screaming. No, that's not every day. <laughs> In fact, it's not that many days either, actually. The the longer you walk with uh, your creator, the more you begin to realize that, hey, get a good dose of the fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom, and then begin to really seek him and press in. So I know I'm not going to get too preachy or too religious today with you, I'm doing well spiritually uh, and growing every single day. And as I've said on this podcast, we will have people join us who can, who can feed you and I spiritually and bring information to us, interesting information, 
And of course, from a soul perspective, from our intellect, our minds, how our bodies work, these are all things that I'm very, very excited about. So yeah, I've been off the scene for a year and a half. Um, the last 25 years have been my task from from my creator, from the Lord, that I've believed very strongly. Indeed, it's allowed me to go on an incredible journey from a kitchen table to a position where I was leading a group of amazing guys and girls, 220 of them, uh, to build the UK and Europe's first daily Christian television network. And that grew into multiple 24-hour channels going around the world with 12 offices and, as I said, 220 people working with me. And so that really was a privilege. But then the grace lifted, and I made very difficult personal decisions, including um, divorcing my wife, my ex-wife, which I know shocked many people. Um, to some it wasn't a surprise, and those who were particularly close to me knew a lot more of the detail than anybody, including the Internet, really doesn't know. Um, and today, no, I'm not going to focus on that. But if you've gone through a divorce and it's been a massive shake in your life, trust me, I, I, I have a pretty good feeling of the journey. Even though there's some voices out there will be saying, Rory, it was your own choice, your own decision. I will say, yes, it was my choice. It was my decision. Um, but nobody, you have no idea of the personal circumstances. And I made an inner vow that I would never speak evil of my ex-wife, who's the mother of my two amazing children or negatively, or even bring into the open anything that is nobody else's business. But I promise you, with my love for him, my creator, and um, as I talked about a few moments ago, the fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom, trust me, nothing is straightforward, and everything is laid before him completely in a pure repentance of heart and in terms of where we're going. So no matter who writes to me and tells me about my past and what I should and shouldn't do, you've not walked in my shoes. I don't know you personally. I've never been accountable to you or you to me. And um, therefore, you are not in a position to make a judgment on me. So that's talking about my divorce. And you can hear I'm pretty resolute and unwavering and thanking God that I'm married now to a wonderful woman who really sees me, who respects me, who loves me, who wants to be my wife much more than she wants to be my vision partner. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean to say she's not excited about vision. She absolutely loves our creator, but she sees her role and her passion and her love for me in being my wife and, of course, me being her husband. And I'll throw no, little bits of wisdom and and that I've gathered along the way. For example, here's one. If you're going through a divorce or you've gone through a divorce, don't be deceived. You're exactly the same person who's entering into the new relationship. If you're entering into a new relationship, then the person who left the broken relationship. And the first thing that the Lord had to deal with me and for me personally, and I can only speak from my perspective, was dealing with a hard heart. That's been an interesting process over the last eight, nine years since I got divorced. And it's very important, husbands and wives, that you keep your hearts tender before the Lord and toward your partner, no matter how long you've been married for. And if you've just gone through a divorce and you're entering into a new relationship, make sure that you allow him, if you know him and if you're walking with him, to work in your heart. It's very important. You're the same person entering into a new relationship. The only benefit you do have is you can learn from your past experiences and make sure by His grace and with His help you don't make the same mistakes. That's right. Uh, you and I, as we left our last relationship, if you've gone through a divorce or you, you, you're going through one, we are always responsible for, for looking at ourselves first. And I know what I'm saying is pretty basic stuff, but hey, welcome to Spirit, Soul, Body podcast. And um, if you've hung around with me so long, I'd love to hear from you. I'm not going to say do the subscribe thing and share this and and punch the like button. You're going to hear that very few, few times from me. Uh, you understand how the algorithms work on social media. 
the more people engage with a podcast or with a YouTube channel or with Facebook, whatever it might be, wherever you might be watching this right now. Um, of course, algorithms are moved by people's interaction. If you'd love to interact with me, I'd love to have you interact with me. And um, you'll know that drill as well as I do. I'm going to be back on Thursday, but just to say that I have started my podcast. This is the first episode of Spirit Soul Body, and every Tuesday and Thursday I'll be hanging out with you wherever you are or whenever you choose to watch it. Um, many, many years before people started to coin the phrase, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, morning, noon, or night, however you want to phrase it, it's something I said for 20-something years on, on Christian television on a network that I launched with my ex-wife and an amazing group of guys and girls. And um, I always started by saying a big God bless you for me, Rory Alec. And I felt very strongly that in Spirit, Soul, Body podcast, whenever we get together, you're going to have a big God bless you from me because really my hope and prayer is that you are blessed. No matter what you're going through today, that you will reach out to him, realize you're not strong enough in your own right, no matter how much the world and the noise out there tells us, we can do everything, we can. Yes, there's a, there's a certain amount of what you and I can do in our own strength. But I don't believe you and I can ever reach our full potential without having our heavenly creator involved um, in our lives. And so I unashamedly will be talking about my Savior, my Lord, my, my wonderful King, um, who I'm continually pursuing. And more importantly, he's pursuing me. And um, I am so grateful for him seeing me and, and having touched my life that I could, yeah, I could probably wax lyrical for a long time. So, yep, I love Jesus and he is salvation. He is salvation. He's not somebody who wants to lead you toward salvation. He is the gate. He is salvation. Just as the way he is the word of our creator. And so he's the, 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 the human form or version or visual that we can learn from and understand. And, um, yeah, it's exciting. So, Rory Alec, where have you been? Well, I've been doing my task, which, no, is not launching the next big media venture. Uh, no, it's not um, trying to do some other big Christian television venture. I'm not sure that that's something that I will do, but it's in his hands. I've been um, doing the task of taking care of my mum in law She's 82 years old. She's been fighting cancer of here on the jaw. She had a tumor here. And I'm very encouraged to say that today, uh, Mum She Lion, who you and I will call her from here on out, my Mum She Lion, um, Carola's mother, uh, is doing great cancer is in remission every three weeks she has an infusion and it's really done an amazing thing so i'm grateful to the lord for that yeah uh she's been my task and um, for those of you who are christian and you do follow the lord and you understand the language when i say we have callings in our lives and we have giftings and yes there are functions and tasks that we perform the Christian tradition, and specifically the Bible, the scriptures speak of the fact that those who are washed in the blood of Jesus, in other words, those who accept by faith and believe in him, that he on that cross 2,000 years ago shed his blood for, for our sin, for our faults, for our mistakes, um, that we are part of his body, we are literally transformed in our spirit. Remember, on spirit, soul, body, we're going to focus on all three areas, and some days we'll touch on all three areas, and other days the podcast will focus just on how our bodies work or on how our minds work. But we're all part of his body, those who have been blood-washed, those who confess him as Lord and Savior and walk with him. Uh, we are part of his, his body. And we understand the language that many think their callings are to be a pastor or a prophet or an evangelist or a teacher or an apostle, a forerunner. In fact, it was something that I was under a mistake on for many years. And now this is a, this is a, a revelation to me as, as he has whispered to me and shown me in the last seven, eight years. 
Remember, I'm talking about what have I been doing for the last year and a half, okay? And I've been doing a lot of things, but one of the main things is, is I've been waiting on the Lord to get that direction from Him, that rhema word. In other words, it's a life word. It's not just a knowing word, but it's something where I feel Him whisper to me personally and say, Rory, this is what I want you to concentrate for the next season. And that kind of instruction I got many, many years ago with 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 a whisper in my spirit man launched Christian television into the United Kingdom and Europe. So it was something that I felt from him and I shared that with my ex-wife. And she said, no, that's not God. We're going to do film and we're going to Hollywood and, and, and Los Angeles. And I said, well, I really believe this is what the Lord wants us to do is launch Christian television. Of course, I didn't know anything about Christian television all these 27, 28, maybe 30 years ago. My goodness me, a long time ago, coming up to 30 years ago. And uh, <laughs> I had no idea what Christian died. We'd re- freshly come from South Africa. We'd arrived in the United Kingdom. Um, and yes, we were on our way to, to the USA to go and work on our rock operas and our movie projects at that time, all those years ago. And then my ex-wife said, no, this is not the Lord, Christian television, etc. And then two weeks later, she came to me. She said, no, I think I think it's right. I think it is the Lord. And so that's how my journey with launching Christian television to the UK on a day-by-day basis, and that grew to multiple 24-hour channels, as I mentioned. And for me, that was an apostolic media anointing operating on my life. And again, those who are in the Christian language will understand what I'm saying. And if you don't, just hang with me anyway, because... I'm pretty much a down-to-earth guy and pretty straightforward. And um, don't be too phased out with my religious speak. Hang in there, and I think I think you'll be encouraged. But for me, I saw that as a calling. And in the last four or five years, as I've been waiting on him and as I've been growing on him, and yes, been very busy in my life, specifically looking after my mum-in-law, Mum Sheline, which is my new task. My old task was God TV, and my new task is my mum-in-law, at least for a season, while I'm feeling that strongly and while she's with us before she graduates to heaven. And who knows, she might be around for another 20 years. <laughs> the Lord knows. I mean, she might be here for another five years. Who knows? But on this Spirit, Soul, Body podcast, and as I'm hanging out with you, um, the Lord's made it very clear to me that my calling was never God TV watching Christian television into the UK or Europe. My calling was never to be apostolic, in other words, a forerunner um, in in media. You go, Rory, but that's what you've talked about. We who have known you all these years, that's what you've always taught. And yes, I know I've talked about that. But I've had an epiphany that my calling is him. He is my calling. And just a few minutes ago, I was telling you how Scripture tells us clearly that we are part of his body, those who are blood washed and believe in him, have faith, and are in, in an eternal relationship. We've been born again in our spirit, uh, not so much in our soul, and our body is our body. <laughs> and um, my calling is to know him, to love him, and to obey him. But I get given tasks, and so... This became an epiphany to me. And maybe it's something you understand already, but for me it was never. And I think if church leaders, ministry leaders, those who call themselves apostles and prophets and evangelists so-and-so and pastors so-and-so, whether it's a big church or a small church, whether it's a living, alive, charismatic church or a very staunch, very structured um, Catholic church, I don't know. That is not our calling. Those are our tasks. And it, for me, it was a fundamental shift in my, in my brain, in my soul, in my knowing. And it's working its way into me as a whole being, spirit, soul, and body. That my calling is to love him, is to know him, is to know more about him, is to obey him. If I continue to pursue that calling every day of my life, it doesn't matter what my task is whether I'm called to be a king or a president, or whether I'm living in the worst uh, circumstances and caught in human trafficking, if I can keep my eyes on my calling and in my relationship with him, I can survive all circumstances. 
and he can move supernaturally in my life. If I'm called to be, um, to know him and to love him, but I find my task is to head up a large church or a small church or to be a prophetic voice to the nations or to be a forerunner in Christian media, which is what I did, that is a task. And if you and I are faithful in our callings and we're obedient in the tasks he gives us, he will give us the anointings to be able to function and operate that task to a total success. I hope I'm making sense. I mean, I've really gone deep perhaps on the spirit dynamic, but for me personally in terms of, hey, Rory, nice to see you back. We're interested to see where Spirit Soul Body podcasts will go every Tuesday and Thursday. We understand you're going to have live guests with you. It's just not you talking every Tuesday and Thursday. And you're giving us a catch-up where you've been the last year and a half. And if you've hung out with me this long, it's wonderful to hang out with you. I'm going to wrap this one up, and then maybe on Thursday I'll get into a little bit more. I've actually got some little bits of video and I'd like to show, show you and share with you, including introducing you to my mum-in-law. Um, so of course, Carola is a senior lecturer at a university in Vienna. She spends 14 weeks a year lecturing and has done for 20-something years. She also works with her sister here. Her sister has a business in our local city here. And um, it's a design business for homes and furnishings and everything else. And Corolla works there. I'm a house husband working at home. Yes, I oversee some of our activity on Airbnb. And I also look after Mumshi Line, who's my task. And through her, not that she and I communicate super well because her German is phenomenal. Mine is not. Her English is pretty non-existent at least that's what she tells us uh mine's up mine is my first language so i'm talking to her in my peasant german <laughs> she's talking she's talking to me in her excellent austrian german and i'm pretty convinced she knows more english than she lets on because i'm sure every once in a while the ears can grow big mum she lines ears she's such a sweetheart so yeah, my task, that has been my task and will be my task for the, sh for the immediate future. But I'm blessed. I'm sitting here in my home studio, my home TV studio. It's nicely set up. I can go live if I need to go live. I can have guests coming in. To give you an example, if I go here, you can see that I could actually have my, my guests join me on screen here. So there would be the guest and there would be the two of us. So yes, today, this Tuesday, the 28th of February, 2023, there is no guest sitting with me, but who knows? Next week, I've got a few folks that are going to come and join me on the program, and we will hang out together, and we will have a great time talking about spirit, soul, and body. Um, I'm feeling I'm going to wrap it up this time. I know I've opened up a whole bunch of conversation and still not really told you what I've been getting up to the last year and a half. Um, please visit my YouTube website if you're watching this on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, Feel free to check me out on Facebook. I do have a Facebook group called Spirit Soul Body. Check it out, Rory Alex, Spirit Soul Body. I haven't posted anything to you guys on my Facebook group also for a year and a half. So my apologies. I'm breaking all the rules of social media. And by the way, let me just say, I just think there's so much noise out there. Um, and I'm not judging anyone doing anything on Facebook or on, on YouTube or social media. But I think you know what I'm saying. There's just a lot of information and I just didn't feel like I had anything that I wanted to share or say for this last season. I'm currently raising investment to launch my Good Morning World, which has not gone away. You'll find that on my YouTube channel. There was proof of concept. We did about 40 shows, or should I say I did 40 shows, but it was taking me 16 to 18 hour days to produce those Good Morning Worlds. I've put a wonderful business plan together, which is out with investors. So pray for me if you do pray um, that we will raise the investment for Good Morning World, and then I will commit to a 24-month period with a small team, and we'll launch breakfast television uh, from Monday through, sorry, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's all prepared. It's all planned. It's fully envisioned, and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so that's something that's definitely in the works and, and planned. I'm waiting on him, and um, 
of course, the first season of Good Morning World, if and when, and I believe it will, when we raise the investment for it, uh, I will I will host it from here, my home studio, because of my task, looking after my dear Mumshi line. Um, and yes, but I will, again, we will run breakfast television uh, around around the world, and I think it will be very encouraging. Good morning, world. Good morning, world. Um, I'm excited about that, and great, great potential for that as well. But until then, we're doing Spirit Soul Body podcast every Tuesday and every Thursday. And I think I've pretty much wrapped it up today, so I'm going to say uh, it's time for me to say goodbye. But I've loved hanging out with you guys, and I know it's been a monologue this morning or this evening or whenever you're watching. And it may well be a monologue again on Thursday because I want to bring you up to speed in more detail. But until then, the Lord bless you. And I pray that you will have a breakthrough Tuesday today or whenever you're watching that you are blessed. If you're going through a tough time, hang in there. Look up and climb into his lap. If you don't know him, say, hey, I want to know you, Jesus. Climb into his lap. And look down and you'll see your circumstances in an entirely different light. It's been great hanging out with you. Until next time, from me, Rory Alec, Spirit Soul Body Podcast, every Tuesday, Thursday. Until then, until Thursday, day after tomorrow. Lots of love. Talk soon.